If you think a build plate is just a boring piece of metal or glass, you haven't seen these. Today, we are talking about 3D printer build plates that visually enhance your final print using targeted light reflections or holographic effects to make your object shine in a whole new light. The surface of these plates determine exactly how light hits your model, how it's diffracted, reflected or scattered. Over the past few weeks, we've tested several of these special plates from holographic mirrors to metallic shimmers and are ready to show you which we like the most. I'm Alex. Welcome to the newest video of Cryteam Printing. Let's dive in, shall we? What looks like magic at the first glance is actually just optics and material physics. These build plates like PEO, PEY or H1H transform your humble first layer into a shimmering or holographic surface. But how does this effect actually work? It's a three-step process. The plate surface contains a high-precision micrograding similar to the surface of a CD. These tiny microscopic lines and prism diffract light into its spectral colors, creating that iridescent shine. As you print, the molten filament is pressed under pressure into the exact microstructure. It perfectly molds to these tiny reliefs like an optical neckerchief. As the material cools, it freezes the structure in place. When light hits the bottom of your print, it now hits a surface that bends and reflects the spectrum, changing with every viewing angle. The result? Your print seems to generate its own light. The holographic effect isn't in the filament's color, but in the shape of its surface. Really cool, right? But to transfer this microstructure perfectly, you need three things to be dialed in. Your plate is the master positive. Your print is the negative. Only a flawless, clean surface can transfer the pattern precisely. So fingerprints, crease or dust will just ruin the contact between the filament and the plate, making the shine look patchy. You should clean it before every print with isopropanol or you could just use mild dish soap. Every scratch or defect on the plate will be perfectly mirrored on your print. So check for wear and tear regularly. And most of the holographic plates are optimized for PLA, so be careful with PDG or ASA. They can bond too strong and rip the coating off the plate when you remove the part. The magic happens only on the first layer. Your printer must press the filament into the microstructure with the perfect amount of force. So perfect bed leveling is a thing. Even the slightest unevenness will lead to an inconsistent finish. Too close and you lose detail, too far and you get no texture transfer at all. You need to dial in your set offset. As a rule of thumb, set it slightly lower or closer than you would for a standard smooth PE sheet. The filament needs to be squished into the texture to feel every detail. All right, let's get to the plates. To help you decide which one is right for you, we've broken down our test candidates into three style categories. The technical and geometric, the holographic and shimmering, and the organic and flowing. These plates are the engineers of the group. They deliver a structured, sharp finish that looks almost like milled aluminum or carbon fiber on the light. This plate creates a faceted pattern of micro triangles. When you print on it, these filament presses into these tiny facets, creating a surface that breaks light along hard edges. The result is a clean, precise, machine-like look. It's ideal for technical prototypes, robot or drone parts, or objects with futuristic cyberpunk look. This plate transfers a classic tool pattern that mimics real carbon fiber. Fine diagonal lines create depth, a sense of robustness and technical charm. With dark PLA or ABS, you get a rich satin matte sheen. It's ideal for functional RC parts, machine housings or gadgets with a serious engineering vibe. On the outside, this plate shimmers in all colors. But there's a small downside. The colorful shine stays on the plate. Your object only picks up the pattern. An etched faceted grid. The results in a supple, deep relief without a rainbow effect, which is ideal for minimalistic designs or premium prototypes where you want a noble texture but not a loud color shift. This is where things get spectacular. These plates diffract light in all directions, turning your print into a rainbow object, much like a butterfly's wing. A dense geometric grid combined with fine holographic reflections. It makes any object look like a part of futuristic UI. Depending on the light angle, the bottom flickers like a pixelated display. It's ideal for sci-fi props, gaming accessories, 
or enclosures with a digital character. It looks amazing with transparent PLA, almost like an integrated light panel. This one looks like glass was shattered into thousands of tiny splinters and each one reflects light differently. When you take your part of the plate, the bottom looks like it's made of a thousand mini mirrors. The light just dances in all colors from blue to gold to violet. This is ideal for jewelry pieces, collectibles, keycaps or display stands. The effect is especially strong with clean or light colored pillays where the light even shines through the print. Stars creates a pattern of point-like micro-reflections like a night sky on your print bed. Every movement makes new stars flash and glitter. This is ideal for decorative items or festive and Christmas themed designs. With transparent PDG, it looks like tiny LEDs are embedded in your part. This one is much subtle. Thousands of extremely fine dots create a soft misty vial of glitter like cosmic dust. Instead of a harsh rainbow, you get a deep, elegant shimmer that shifts with movement. This one is ideal for accessories, art objects or premium enclosures. And it works best with dark or metallic filaments. This is fine and vertical lines reflect light like tiny laser beams. Red, green, blue and violet. This pattern is transferred to your objects, creating a bottom surface that looks like a digital color code. This is ideal for futuristic designs and sci-fi elements. These plates bring movement into the material, making it look like light is flowing across the surface. This plate imprints fine flowing waves. The light glides over the bottom surface, changing with every single angle and giving your object a sense of life and motion. The six move plate is ideal for organic shapes and decorative accessories. This plate takes it a step further with deeper chaotic curves that create a dramatic liquid metal effect. Under the light, the print looks almost fluid and every movement of the viewer changes the reflection. This wave smooth plate is ideal for, well, honestly, <laughs> we have no idea of what to use this for. It just looks totally wild. Out of all the plates we've tested in the last few weeks, the Flake, PEO Smooth and PEO Chameleon are our clear favorites. Flake delivers that extreme mesmerizing broken glass effect. The PEO Smooth is the opposite. It's technical, precise, almost industrial. It's perfect for parts with a clean angular look. And the PEO Chameleon. We just think the plate itself looks the best, even if the final pattern on the print isn't the most dramatic. Depending on the manufacturer, these plates cost between 10 to 20 euros, are almost always dual-sided and are available for most popular printers. We're using the versions for the Anycubic Cobra as one here, but you can find these exact same surfaces for Cradle T, for Bamboo Lab and other models. You will find the purchase links are as always in the video description. Maybe it's a good gifting idea to send to your partner. Just saying, Black Friday and Christmas are coming. And that's a wrap. If you like this video, feel free to give us a like and a subscribe so you don't miss out our next video. We are going to take a closer look at the Creality K2 Pro, specifically what's really changed since the last release. And if you want to keep watching right now, here's the review for the Anycubic S1. Thanks for watching, print smart, stay critical, cry team, out.